Breaking news out of the DOJ by Chris Bar Spargo for the DailyMail.com. Uma Abedin was spotted heading into the Hillary Clinton offices in Midtown Manhattan on Friday, just a few hours before the release of the 2800 of her emails. A longtime aide to Hillary Clinton was joined by her son, Jordan, who she has been raising as a single mother ever since her husband, Anthony Weiner, entered a correctional facility in Pennsylvania earlier this year. Abedin submitted her divorce papers on the same day Weiner appeared in court to enter his guilty plea back in May. Weiner was sentenced to 21 months behind bars in order to pay $10,000 after entering a guilty plea to a single charge of transferring obscene material to a minor. At least five of the emails found on her laptop were deemed to be classified. It was revealed on Friday. The State Department released hundreds of pages of material Friday afternoon, including a total of eight pages classified at the confidential level. The third most sensitive level the U.S. government uh, uses. And here she is going off to Hillary uh, Uma Abedin spotted heading into the Hillary Clinton offices in Midtown Manhattan on Friday, just a few hours before the release of the 2800 emails. Here's her son. So let's take a look over here. Uh, from CNN, the State Department posted a number of emails belonging to uh, former top Hillary Clinton uh, aide Uma Abedin on Friday after the messages were found on Anthony Weiner's laptop by the FBI. Several of the released documents were found to contain information uh, classified, quote, confidential and were heavily redacted. Friday's release in response to a Judicial Watch Freedom of Information Act FOIA lawsuit seeking all emails of official State Department business received or sent by former Deputy Chief of Staff Uma Abedin from uh, January 1st, uh, 2009 through February 1st, 2013 using a non-state.gov email address. The FBI has previously said that a number of Abedin's documents were backed up on Wiener's laptop and that some smaller number were manually forwarded. In a letter to the Senate Judiciary Committee last May, the FBI said, although we do not know the exact numbers based on its investigation, the FBI believes it is reasonable to conclude that most of the emails found on Mr. Weiner's laptop computer related to the Clinton investigation occurred as a result of a backup of personal electronic devices with a small number, a result of manual forwarding by Ms. Zapatine to Mr. Weiner. Then FBI Director James Comey testified earlier this year that somehow her emails were being forwarded to Anthony Weiner, including classified information by Clinton's assistant, Uma Abedin, she, he said. But there was no indication that Abedin had a sense of what she was doing, uh, was in violation of the law, Comey added. Really, Mr. Comey? I wonder why he made that decision, and investigators couldn't prove any sort of criminal intent. <laughs> The emails weren't marked as classified, though the FBI later found classified information contained in some emails recovered from Weiner's laptop. CNN has previously reported it was uh, likely that some of the emails stored on Weiner's laptop contained classified information and fired FBI uh, Director Comey testified that there is no indication Abedin had a sense of what she was doing was in violation of the law. The fact that Clinton and Abedin previously exchanged classified emails gave federal prosecutors probable cause to justify their 
review of Wiener's laptop in fall of 2015 according to a search warrant application released in December of 2016. Eleven days before the 2016 presidential election, Comey announced that the FBI had discovered emails possibly pertaining to the Clinton email server probe in connection with a unrelated case. The unrelated case was New York prosecutors' separate investigation into allegations that Wiener, a former New York congressman and the estranged husband of Aberdeen, had sexted with an underage girl. The review of the laptop publicly disclosed less than two weeks before the election jolted Clinton's campaign and resurfaced at the controversy over her use of a private email server at the State Department. The search warrant and supporting documents unle uh, unsealed uh, last year uh, shed new light on how the FBI framed its argument to access to the for access to the emails and what federal investigators hope to find. More specifically, investigators sought information on those who had accessed uh, classified information communication with Clinton during her tenure as Secretary of State and activity related to the computer intrusion. Though neither Aberdeen nor Wiener was identified by name in the search warrant documentation and the court ordered the materials redacted, the affidavit in support of the warrant makes clear that the FBI argued that there was further probable cause to search Wiener's hard drive in light of the fact that Aberdeen and Clinton previously exchanged classified emails. Wiener was sentenced earlier to 21 months in federal prison for sexting a minor. Yeah, but you see why they had to uh, uh, investigate this? Because the uh, cops in New York had their hands on, the la on Wiener's laptop. Otherwise, this would all have been shoved under the rug, pushed under the rug and let go. Even with this taking place, that uh, uh, they, they, they had to, they still uh, said, oh, she's not guilty. Of course she's guilty. So is Aberdeen and Clinton. And first of all, Aberdeen had this on the computer uh, as an insurance policy. So there was classified material on, these, on, the, uh, on Anthony's laptop. So what does that tell you? And uh, here we have uh, Uma Abedin running to Hillary Clinton now because Judicial Watch had uh, asked for the release of these emails. And now they're, they're, they're getting together to wonder what they're going to do and how they're going to handle this. But all this boils down to the fact that they're guilty of sin. FBI James Comey lied about this. And he had no choice, and he's going to he's going to go to prison too. Believe you me. Uh, so she's running now to 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 talk to Hillary as to what they're going to do. She's even taking her son there, uh, and uh, he's not going to school. There you have it. What does that tell you? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.